Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Again, sorry about the spot we're filming in, but I'm breaking off what I got. This time it's a another declutter video and it's my bronzer, blush and highlighters and the palettes and singles in palettes. I picked out everything that's in my makeup basket and of course I'm gonna keep them, I'm just gonna show them to you. And it's the Smashbox Halo Cheek Palette. I love this one. This is a gorgeous palette. Keeping it. Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Let's Go Nude. Lovely Blush. Cover Fex. Pink Dahlia. Love it. Um, Colourpop and Zuela. Swipe right, love it. Wet n Wild Rose Champagne, love it. Mac Soft and Gentle, I love this one. The Lumine Lumine Invisible Illumination Watercolor Bronzer in the shade Summer Glow, love this one. Wet n Wild Sunset Striptease, you know I love this one, so I'm keeping it. Then, where should I start? Okay, let's start off with the highlighters, I feel like. So, let's start off with this one I have a highlighter in here and it's a repressed version of the H&M um, one that I delicate pearl is it and yeah like this one I'm gonna keep it you know I'm gonna keep this one it's lovely then we have the Glow Kit Sugar from ABH. I have two pans in here. This and this is too dark for me. But I really like this one. This is an okay one as an eyeshadow, but this is stunning. So I'm debating just keeping this one. But for now we're keeping the whole thing. I need to play around with this one some more. Revolution, sorry for the glare. Um, I think this one is the incandescent one. Again, I can only use this three. And I haven't played ar around with this one much, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Then, I have this Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This is my newest one. Love this one. Keeping it. Maybelline Strobing Master Strobing Stick. Keeping this one. And I'm keeping the Revolution Jelly Highlighter in Prestigious. Love this one. Now, these two. I don't like the formula of these, so I'm gonna see if my friend want these ones, or at least try them out. So I'm giving these two to her, and these are the Liquid Frost in the shade Frostbite, the white one, and the shade Ice Cream, this pinky toned ones so those two are going to her then I'm keeping the Wet n Wild one I'm keeping my H&M one keeping my two Maybelline ones keeping the Fenty Beauty one keeping my two Ofra ones I have Glazed Donut and Pillow Tuck keeping ABH one now 
these four. I have three Jeffree Star one and one Revolution one. The first one is the Jeffree Star and Manny M. Ray one in the shade Eclipse. The shade is lovely, but the formula is so bad, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Peach Goddess. This one, I... Awkward swatches, I know. This is a maybe. Eyes cold. I have hit pan on this one, but again, this is just a straight up white. I used to like it, but I'm gonna declutter this one. Then I have the dupe for the Peach Goddess one from Revolution, and it's their Skin Kiss in Peach Kiss. And yeah, you can clearly tell they're not the same, but they're similar. So we have Peach Kiss there. I hope you can see. I can't see what you see. And that's the Jeffree Star one. And I'm gonna declare this one because the Jeffree Star one is a little bit lighter. And the Revolution one is a little bit darker. So... Only one big highlighter left. So that's good. Keeping her. Then the last single highlighter. Is that correct? Huh. Is this Revolution Renaissance Illuminate in Radiant Rose. It looks like this and it's a gradient one and Ooh, maybe I do like that one better than the Jeffree Star one. Ooh. I'm gonna keep this one for now and I need to play around with this one because I have only swatched this one. Um, yeah, so for now I'm keeping it, but we shall see. So that's all of my highlighters. That's quite good. Okay. And we're putting that there. Next up is blushes. Yes, it's blushes. So, I have the Coralista one in here. I'm keeping her. I have Physician's Formula Butter Blush in here. I'm keeping her. I have the Revolution Hot Spice, I'm keeping her. I have the Makeup Geek uh, Soulmate in here, I'm keeping her. And then let's start off with my MAC singles because I do have five. And the only one I'm debating decluttering is this bright red, which is Red Apple. But for now, I'm gonna keep her in my shopping block because I have never used her on my cheeks. So yeah, uh, the other four I do love, so I'm keeping them. Then, let's get into this one. NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. It's an oldie, but a goodie.
if you can hear the noises outside, it's my boyfriend's family, uh, her, his mom and his little brothers stopping by, and my boyfriend are making food, dinner, because it's late. So yeah, I do like this, I just need to reach for this one more, so I'm keeping her. Um... I have the Colourpop Clockwork Duo Need to play around more with her This one This is an old Naked Urban, uh, Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette I have used up the highlighter and the bronzer And I have had this for ever So I'm actually gonna declutter her but I do think I will keep the compact, at least for now, because the compact is super nice. So yeah, the blush will go, but the compact will stay. So that's one. We have my MAC Petal Power. My lid is destroyed. But the shade is beautiful, I just need to use her more. Keeping, keeping my blush topper. Now, makeup store. In the shade Fresh. I never like the formula of this. This is so powdery, it's not even funny. Decluttering her. Time to say goodbye. The Revolution one can stay, the Nars one can stay, the Oprah one is new so she's gonna stay, the What and Wild one is gonna stay, It Cosmetics are gonna stay, I have another MAC one, love this one, she's gonna stay, I have another Bare Minerals one, I love it. I just got this Clinique blush in my advent calendar today. I'm filming this the 6th of December. Um, I'm keeping my Frankium blush and I'm keeping this Balm Trio. So yeah, that's all of my blushes. And I'm keeping most of them. Now I just need to figure out how to store them. But yeah, decluttering those two. I will see if my friend wants this one. The same with all of the highlighters and a few lip products from another video. Then bronzers. I have a Franken bronzer in here, I'm keeping that one and I'm gonna fix this one later. I have my cream one, I love this one, keeping it. My bronzer palette, keeping that. Then we are on to my basket. I have a blush and bronzer palette, keeping it. It's a new one in my collection. Same with this one. It's actually the wrong color I picked up. This is medium dark, which I will say this is not very dark to be on for the darker skin tones, but I was actually gonna pick up the light medium one. So, but I do still like this. Now, I think everybody has heard of this one. It's the Smashbox Contour Palette. It's my first ever contouring kit and I never liked it. The bronzer is too orange, the contour is too gray and the powder is too yellow. So this one 
will be decluttered. And this is almost five years old. So this is going in the trash. I have two Clarins bronzers. I need to get some use of the, out of them. I have the Revolution Mega Bronzer. I love this one. The other Revolution I have, I also love. Keeping that. This is the Benefit Hula one. Now this is my oldest one. Um, but I don't have much left, so I'm planning on using this one up. That will stay. Bodyshop Honey Bronzer will stay. Hourglass. Love this physician's formula will stay. Now I do have one from Maybelline. It's their City Bronzer in the shade Medium Cool 200. This will be on my shopping block. And the same as with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket Trip 2 Brazil. This will also be on my shopping block. Um, so yeah, we will see how this goes. And then I have the Elf Bronze Pink Beige Duo. I hate the blush, but I do like the bronzer, but this is on the older side, so I should really actually get rid of it. But yeah, I will keep it for <clears throat> 2021 and we will see how it goes. So yeah, that's all of my bronzers. So that's actually everything. I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight products, which is fine by me. I knew I wouldn't get rid of much, but I knew there was a few stuff I needed to put on my chopping block and a few stuff I needed to get rid of. So, thank you so much for watching and sorry about all of the noise in the background. If you could hear it, I'm so sorry, but we're living with a lot of people and we got to film when we got to film. So, I hope I will see you in the next one. Please like, comment and subscribe. And have a good day. Bye!